Well, read. Mr. Speaker, the depth of the economic crisis is touching every industry and every household with the loss of 269,000 jobs in Southern Ontario alone. Seven months has passed since the announcement of the Southern Ontario Development Agency to help small and medium business survive or start up. Not one penny of the billion dollars promised has flowed from it into Southern Ontario. No criteria set up, no application forms. The SOTA program is nothing but an empty storefront with hundreds of business owners trying to create jobs for Ontario families, knocking at the door facing unfulfilled promises. The Honourable Minister of State, order. Mr. Speaker, I might advise the member to pay attention. The door is wide open. It might hit him. Our government has acted very diligently responsible to create jobs and stimulate the economy in this, uh, in this uh, downturn. We have helped communities. Absolutely. We have helped venture capitalists. We've helped industry through the IRAP program. Money is already flowing, and I note 12,000 new jobs in Ontario alone in June. Wow. Mr. Speaker, we don't want to interrupt this prog progress with an unnecessary opportunistic election. That's not what Canadians need. Not at all. Right. Honourable Member for Quill. Mr. Speaker, the Minister knows he's misstating the facts. I've just spoken to the community futures in Wellington, Waterloo, Simcoe, Bruce, Collingwood, Aurelia, Welland, Niagara. They expressed overwhelming concern, frustration, lack of communication or direction from this minister. No money, no ability to staff their office to receive applications. And if the money finally comes, they feel they'll be forced to rush it out, compromising the opportunity for meaningful results. They urge the Liberal opposition to shake money out of this government. How does the member answer the accusations from the very... Order the Honourable Minister of State. Order. The Honourable Minister of State has the floor. Order. The uh, member can yell all he wants. It's, uh, here's a quote. It's clear that we're on the right track and our approach is transforming the economy of this region and FedDev Ontario will play a critical role. Oh, Mr. That? Speaker, the rhetoric is up and loud by this party whose intent is on going to an election to find a job for themselves. This government is focused on creating jobs for Canadians, yeah. supporting Canadian businesses in Southern Ontario and every community in between, regardless of their selfish priorities. Yeah.